Welcome back to Tab's Warhammer, everybody. Britonia's under siege. Upon reaching the fair realm of Britonia, you find the local knight's castle under siege by wood elves. Damn knife ears, drive them off. Uh, so we have some Bretonians. There's men at arms with spears. There's Yeoman, who is very thin, up against, ugh, gross, elves. Disgusting elves. Oh, it's like a tree kin. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. That's sort of fun. Oh no, war dancers. Okay, well, uh, what is good versus the elves? Just guns. I'm worried that guy is gonna try and charge just because he looks like a minotaur. But let's just let's just see. You know what? You know, empire problem. Can't you solve with guns? Blammo! There we go. Stupid, stupid tree guys. <gasps> Ooh, lightning bow. Uh, so, wow, well, the uh, Bretts have mainly just been massacred. Feels bad to be a Bretonian. Uh-oh. Uh, and the gun line, just great. You know, they're in the, they're in the trees. Ooh, um... Gun better. Nice! Oh, that arrow. That was coming straight for you, bird. And I think your expression says it all. Ogre hunt. After rescuing the Bretonians from the Wood Elves, you think you ought to negotiate peace with the Asarai. Sending your scouts into Athol Lorem, they come back with a message. The Wood Elves will give us peace if we agree to hunt down a nearby ogre tribe that has been causing them problems. Naughty, hungry ogres. And we have got <laughs> an ogre on a rhinox. He's got the gut plate, he's got the moustache. The rhinox is not having a happy day at all. Who's that? Like the, the tyrant? And uh, the, what are they called? Iron, iron guts? Lead belchers? Oh, and just some, some ogre bulls. And we have some friends. It's like an elf, elf lord with his glade guard. Stupid. Stupid elves. Ogre's gonna do a lot of damage. We can't just take guns, as always. Okay, flank attack. Look at all the arrows. Whoa! God, did he even die from that? No. Wow, the ogres are real tough. Oh, I wish you fired your arrows at the horde rather than the one guy. You've got such serious work to do here, my, my dude. Okay, last elf. Don't even worry about him. Ooh, you did kill an ogre. Did you kill a couple of ogres? One of these guys. Oh, oh no. If they stood right next to each other, I'd say maybe we've got a chance. Uh, ooh. One is down, but I think we're just gonna get shot any second. <gasps> we lived! Oh! Fire. Ah! We were like so close to firing! Oh, drop a crossbow over there. Is it worth like trying to spread them out a bit more? The answer is maybe. Okay, well, there's still a bunch of ogres. Wow, the Lord actually killed those two. Okay, it's just bulls and the uh, the old lead belchers. Uh, the bulls are forming a little a little um, fun line. Okay, this is pretty good. There still is three ogres to beat out. Oh, the Lord lives. Okay, good news, everybody. Lord doesn't live anymore. Bad news, everybody. Okay, please be careful. You elf, you, you're aggroing him directly towards towards me. Although, one-on-one, -on -one, I reckon that elf would just... Uh, I was going to say would win because it could dodge every time, but he didn't. But then we got the kill! Saving the High Elves. Having slain the ogres, the wolves agree to make peace. Returning to the Bretonian castle, you find an emissary of the High Elves awaiting you. Ulthan is under attack from Dark Elves, and they're looking for help from the Old World. Bretonia, join you as you sail to Ulthan. Dark Elves. Ah, oh, there's Witch Elves. Repeater crossbows, perfect. Ah, oh, it's like Marathi on a winged pegasus, which is amazing. Look at that beautiful dark pegasus. At least they're all winged pegasuses. <laughs> Just dark elf warriors. And cold one knights. And they're up against the short, the short guy. Is that like Phoenix Guard? 
and just archers. Okay, well, they're coming across a bridge. And you know what loves bridges? Oh, not dwarf cannon. I keep like forgetting to like mix and match. We're getting a lot of choices of units now. Okay, so we've got we've got hose. <sighs> the Pegasus Knight. I really want there to be Sky Jewel. Okay. Well, we lost Sky Jewel. But our troops did okay. Um, old Marathi maybe is dead. Okay, it's now it turned into a ranged war. The rocket battery was fantastic. Oh, it was so good. Man, defending a choke point. You should be very proud of yourself. You killed basically everything. Fight off the Dark Elves. Uh, you broke the Dark Elves, and now they're attempting to flee by boat back to Nagaroth. Let none escape. Okay, what have they got? Harpies? Love it. Uh, just some warriors, some bows, some black guard. Gunline. Blammo. Nice! Toddy! <laughs> uh, after you destroy the Dark Elves, the old wizard who joined your army starts muttering about a great darkness coming to the Empire. The High Elves you saved agree to join your team. Traveling through the forests of the Empire, you come across an army of beastmen. But wait! Where's that heroic yelling coming from? It's me, fucking Toddy! Holy shit, it's your boy. Toddy, it's me! <laughs> uh, wow, I love him. What a, what a great, what a great chap. Tyrion, wait, Tyrion's 2,000 points. Ah, hell of it. Let's take Tyrion. Okay, well, oof. Okay, the um, horse is bad, but it matters not because Toddy is here. They do have a Saigor, which I love. It's one big eye. Fantastic. Uh, Toddy. Uh, Toddy got shot in the back. Very uncool. He has a shout, shouting, it's me, Toddy. Uh, oh my God, Toddy, I love you. Oh God, he is just getting knocked around. Um, okay. Feeling bad. Is Toddy down? Already? Oof. Okay, right, we made a bad call splitting up our forces. And not bringing more range. Toddy just absolutely beaten down. Uh, have we simply forgotten the old ways with distraction peasants that are going to come in a little bit later? Oh man, those Minotaurs. Oh, Minotaurs are dead. And Toddy lives. Toddy lives. Uh, okay, we've got a lot of troops versus the Saigor, I think. The distraction peasants. They didn't really do anything, but they're coming in now. Uh, Toddy, can you slay the Cyclops? One eye versus one eye duel. The answer is no. Yeah! <laughs> that is what I want to see. Team Rocket blasting off again. Get out of here. A Norskin raid. Boris Toddbringer tells you. But whilst you are gone, the raids by the Norskans have increased in frequency. Heading north, you find one such attack in progress on a small village, bring death to the invaders. Okay, we're up against the Norse. There's Norse, and there's Norse with spears, and there's Norse with throwing axes. They all look a bit crazy. Uh, there's a, uh, like, a nice troll. And some horses. Let's see how old Toddy handles handle some of these guys. And um, should we bring some elves? God, I don't really want to bring elves, but that's a lot of archers. Uh, okay. Uh, they've got shields, which is really bad for business. Man, Toddy with that shout actually has okay crowd control, but shields, God, it's why you don't bring bows. They're just not nothing compared to... Oh, you know what? Okay, those <laughs> axe throwers are already feeling kind of bad. Oh no, they're trying to shoot a troll and the troll's got regen, so... Wow, okay, you know what? I guess the nice thing about archers, real cheap! Uh, Toddy and the archer crew. Yeah, they really did that. The ritual! You head north to take the fight to the Norskins, but when you reach their frozen realm, instead, Find a Chaos Sorcerer in the midst of some evil ritual. Don't let him complete it. There's Chaos Warriors, Chaos Sorcerer, who looks really good. Oh man, that's great design. 
if we're fighting against this, I want I want like a real old school looking army. Okay, we made ourselves like a little Warhammer army. Uh, here we go. There are some swordsmen. There's Toddy and his little mini Toddy, his drinking buddy. Uh, your little unit of spearmen and a detachment of handgunners. Let's see how they do up against the chaos. Wow. Blammo. Okay, uh, I'm worried about the Chaos Warriors a lot because Chaos Warriors traditionally very good at fighting. And also, what's the Sorcerer up to? Now, oh, Toddy is in there just, just taking names. Like, look at, look at him go. Uh, okay, you just hit your own guy in the head and then he died. Ooh, wait, are you firing swords? What the heck? You know what? Spearmen? They're doing okay. Like, not not the best. But, alright. They're all a bit tangled up. I don't think you're getting rank bonuses anymore. Ooh, okay, it depends how quickly the sorcerer fires swords. Oh, nuts. And they do have a Chaos Warrior left. <gasps> and did the sorcerer just block? Ooh. How's from Rocket Back Tree? Okay, not a bad opening volley. I'm sort of into that. God, they could do with cheerleaders. Why didn't they have cheerleaders in Warhammer? Blammo. Once again, our boys, our boys are dead. Our boys are dead. They actually killed the wizard. Even if we didn't have those melee troops. Whoa! You did it! <laughs> wow, I was just already thinking of how, how we have to solve this in a cunning way. But no, artillery always works. Demon attack. You cut down the Chaos Worshippers, but it's too late. From their lifeless bodies burst the forms of a host of Chaos Demons. These foes are beyond any of you. Run! Fly, you fools! Okay, oh my god, this is fantastic. So, the Keeper of Secrets. Just beautiful. And here you have, oh my god, wow. These are actually really good demonettes. And then <laughs> it's a Bloodthirster. The Bloodthirster is backed up. Oh my god. Blood letters. They are fantastic as well. Lord of Change. Oh, he looks so good as well. And then he's got a bunch of horrors, which are, man, this mod is so good. And then a great and clean one. And plague bearers. Oh shit! God, it's so good. Uh, so we just have to last twenty seconds. Oh my god, that is cheating. That's so cheating. We could just put a long beard up there. He won't move, and um, I doubt they can get to us. Oh, oh my god, he did a vomit. Okay, right, Tyrion. Wait, was it Tyrion, or did we get a Pegasus Knight? Uh, I honestly can't remember. The uh, Oh god, the Bloodthirster is in here. He snagged one of our dwarves. A Keeper of Secrets, they are just going to town on that poor Dwarf Slayer. He deserved better than that. Um, your boy's having a pretty good time. He is on fire, which doesn't feel great. What is... And the Plague Bearers and Horrors are killing him. Bloodthirster is sort of going down. Okay, the Pegasus Knight is dead. Depends on how good the shooting attacks are. Actually, wow, these dwarf warriors have lived. Victory! Man, they did great. Saved by Franz! As you flee, the vanguard of the demon army pursues you. Just as your men are about to lose all hope, Karl Franz appears with a small army. Destroy the demons, but take care not to let anything bad happen to your emperor. Like blight drones? What are these things called? Uh, some demonettes. And flamers? Are these flamers? Feels like a nifty little force. I kind of just want to see how good Carl does by himself. Um, the guns did not do a lot of work. Oh my god, the flamers. The flamers are really flaming strong. Carl is dead. Wow. Uh, okay. Those flamers are horrific. To take out those flamers is number one. There we go. Uh, because I think the flamers were the things that did most of the damage. Okay, Carl has still got his, like, ret retinue with him. 
Wait, is he alive? Carl lives. The Emperor lives. And I feel like guns just do the work here. Good old Carl. Carl Papa. Jeez, there is so much stuff here. The final battle. Uh, you retreat with Carl back to the Empire. He tells you that Archeon, the Everchosen, has returned from the Realm of Chaos and has united all the forces of evil in an attempt to destroy the Empire. Franz sends for aid from all those he thought might help. Even Krokgar has arrived with an army of lizardmen. This truly is the ultimate battle for the fate of the old world. Okay, well, um, even just panning, the computer is not enjoying this. So we're gonna have, probably have to show this in some kind of cool slow motion montage. Archon is here. Wow, is this, <laughs> this, this guy? <laughs> Who are you? What's your angle? You like the changeling or a spawn maybe? That would be fun. Is that Malaketh? Oh my god, that could be Malaketh. The helmet looks spot on. Malaketh leading the Dark Elves? Oh shit, ogres and the ogre man-eater ninja. Wow, even the undead turned up as well. What the heck? And the vampirates? They're squaring off against wood elves. Oh, Bretonians in a lance formation. Very cool. The Empire has a little force. Toddy and Carl in the middle. Oh, nice. They already brought the rocket back tree. Oh, Krokgar on Grimlock. Wow. Wait, oh, is that an elf bolt thrower? Oh, nice. Okay, and I've got 25,000 points to spend on the ultimate lag fest. This is the Storm of Chaos, right? Uh, the Storm of Chaos, very bad times for the forces of good. But do you know who came really good? Null, uh, with all of their artillery, was very effective. And that is, that is canon as well. The end times battle is won. Many brave souls died. Jeez. But the dwarves, they held out. And the artillery kind of did its job. Kind of did pretty well. Uh, man, that was an epic battle. I wish my computer was better. Out off under siege, you have vanquished your foes and sent them running back to their various lairs. But upon returning to Altdorf, you find it under siege. Mysterious rat men have appeared and they're attacking your city. Oh my god, how did I not even think about Skaven being in the game? Uh, <laughs> okay, right, I see, I see kind of, you know, I see what you've done here. Wizard plus some guns, more guns, and a crossbow. God, there's not actually a lot of mans there. Oh, they're ninjas. Of course they are. Oh, oh, but we've got birds. Nice. The guns are doing great. There are still a bunch of clan rats. Oh, God. Man, they're fast. They're really fast. Ooh. But we did very well. Man, that wizard, really good, actually. I completely forgot he had the spike attack. I thought he was just doing, like, a scarecrow type thing. Battling Skaven. You notice some cowardly Skaven fleeing from the battlefield. 
So you make to follow them. They lead you to a high-tech army of Clan Skyrim. <gasps> Giselles. Okay, love it. Oh my god. Is that a poison wind globe deer? And a rattling gun. Okay. More gun is more good. That's what we have always said. We're fighting people with guns. We're allowed to bring guns. Okay, half the army's down. Uh, including the rattling gun, which feels very good. So you got to watch out for the Giselles, though, because that could drop our boys. Ooh, but it didn't. The Grey Seer schemes. You track the Skaven down to their secret lair, where you discover the Grey Seer Thanquil and his minions, whatever the Rat Mage's plan is, don't let it come to fruition. Stop them before they blow up the moon or something. Okay, we've got a whole load of Skaven slaves. Love that. Oh, Plague Sensor Bearers. Very cool. We've got some Storm Vermin. Is that Thank Wall? Where's Bone Wrapper? Right, we're not going to look inside the cave, but there is something in that cave. If I know anything about Skaven, we're bringing out the big guns. Blammo. Uh, we hit a couple of our boys. Oh, God, those Giselles are weirdly really good anti horde, which feels weird, man. Um, oh. Oh, wait, was it even. Oh no! <laughs> That's so bad! Wow, the um the spinning artillery. Oh! Wow, whoever just like got that shot. Man, I really thought there was gonna be a like a load of tricks in the cave, but I guess not. The Empire is saved! The Empire is in danger once again, and only you can save it. Uh, the forces of chaos are defeated. And the cowardly Skaven have scampered back to their tunnels. At least there is peace in the Empire. For now, at least. Thank you for playing my Warhammer campaign. Uh, there will be more campaigns like this coming soon, along with more units. So keep an eye out. Sigma bless you. P.S. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, hands down, that was one of the best campaigns I have ever played. Uh, man, I just want to play tabs just with the Warhammer units now. Uh... So be prepared to see some of that, because it is my new favourite thing. Uh, so the campaign was by Leech Lord. Uh, so, man, massive, massive shout out to them. Uh, go and check it out. That game was amazing. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, everybody, you take care. Goodbye.